This is where I'm at with the Z80 computer project at the moment. I've got the new transformer housed under this transformer hood. Uh, it's got a primary side fuse and it's got a power cord over here. I've got a power supply mounted down here. Uh, input comes in here. The 7805. Got a fuse, projectifier, the two power LEDs. Uh, I've got a power output right over here. And so the next step would be to make this backplane. I think I already showed this layout in the last video. Um, it's got a LED over here, a power LED, and just a simple power connector over here. And it's just 40 lines that connect straight through to the uh, six female headers that are on here. Look like this. Sit in there like this. I mean, obviously on the back side. Um, and then you can have your cards that would have not a straight header like this, but an angled one. They would sit in on here with this angled header, and then you could just plug them in like this. And then you'd have your peripheral card sitting down here. So, I actually already made this board. This is the backplane board. It's a little warped um, with with heat and manufacturing. Uh, this was actually very, very painful to manufacture. Um, first of all, thing is so large, it wouldn't fit in my etching tank, so I actually uh, etched it in a Tupperware container. And because of that, the etching, um, well, didn't turn out so great, and so I had to bridge over it with solder. Yeah, and you can actually see a couple of spots where the etching is not so great. But well, that's alright. Um, and it turns out those female headers I bought from China were slightly out of tolerance, so they were a little bit just uh, a fiftieth of a millimeter out of out of tolerance, but but I actually shifted it up so much that I had to redrill all the holes, um, and with that I also destroyed my solder pad. So I had to to get in there and bridge over it with the solder, and it was a very very painful process to make this. Uh, the next time I'll just put it on a on a piece of this pre-made PCB that has the the strips going across it. Um, but I wanted to have the power input and everything on here. Yeah, but this is done now. Um, there's continuity between all of those, and I've got space for six cards on here. It also fits down here nicely. The mount is like this. Um, I also added a couple of standoffs. These are 3D printed, and they're half a centimeter high. Um, and I have two here and two in the middle, so you're know, having this down here and you're putting in your card in the middle, you don't snap the ball right in half or break any traces. Uh, I thought this was definitely a necessity to, to keep this from snapping or breaking any traces or anything. So next thing I'll do is I'll mount this down here, put in uh, bolts that hold this down, or maybe even some standoffs so you can have a little nut on there. And then I think the next thing uh, that I'll do is I will design a utility board that goes in probably the first first slot here. And this will have um, First of all, you have clock generation. It will have the single, the, the circuitry that's necessary for single stepping. And I'll also probably put on either a connector that goes to a front panel that has LEDs that show the state of all of those lines, or 40. Um, or if I put it over here, which is more likely, I'll maybe have a little daughter board that comes out to the side and just has a row of LEDs on it. Um, that just show the state of, of all of those lines. This will make debugging so much easier. Um, 
exactly if you single cell you can see what address is it at and what's it doing and whatnot. So I think this is the logical next step. Also, if we have address decoding and and well bus decoding here basically, uh, we can just go through here and inject five volts into everyone and we can even see if this black backplane works properly. Although I measured all of those points with multimeter and they all have continuity, but if a short later develops this will make it very easy. You just pull out all the cards and just put in five volts of ground to every line and you can see it lights it up or not. I've got the back plane screwed down to the well board now. And I've got a little power led up here and everything works so far.